Hey, thanks for inviting me here, by the way. I know it must have been kind of hard to reach me. Yeah, no problem. It was no trouble, really. I mean, we did have to open a portal to your universe, which wasn't easy. In fact, we almost freed the Dread Dormammu from his dark dimension. We had to call Doctor Strange to keep him from entering our dimension. You still owe me for that, by the way. I know. I'll be on call the next time demons invade New York or someone tries to send Manhattan into an alternate dimension or whatever crazy things to deal with. Anyway, Tony didn't think it was worth all that trouble, but I insisted that you come here. Well, I appreciate the effort, man. This is my first extra-dimensional holiday party. Well, it wouldn't be a party without you, Miles. Next year, we'll do it at your place. Eh, I don't know. I mean, in my world, half the guys here are dead. Including you, in case you forgot. Hmm. Fair point. Still, it's nice to see you again, Miles. Thanks, Peter. Um, secret identity? Oh, sorry. So, I've been listening to some Zendaya. Who's Zendaya? Ah, nothing like the sound of royalty-free Christmas music. Hey, it's Spidey and Diet Spidey. How's it going? Heh, <laughs> Diet Spidey. That's a good one says the guy who wears a mostly red costume with dark highlights and large white eyes. Glass houses, my friend. Yeah, I do get that occasionally, but mostly people usually say I'm a ripoff of Deathstroke. Which is absolutely not true. And if anyone says it is, I'll jump out of this screen, find you, and cut out your eye. Does he do that a lot? Yes. Yes, he does. It's best just not to ask. So anyway, what I wanted to say is that this punch doesn't have much of a kick to it, so I decided to fix it. Wait, you spiked the punch? Yeah, pretty cool, right? No, not cool. You do realize there's people here who aren't old enough to drink yet. Like you, I'm guessing. No, I'm over 21, alright? I'm married and I have a job in an apartment. But Sam, Ava, and Miles here aren't old enough. Also, everyone hates the guy at the party who spikes the punch. Not a big deal for me though. I can't even get drunk because of my healing fact. Yeah, whatever. Hey, did I ever tell you about... Hello everyone! I'd like to thank you all for coming to my holiday party. We're gathered here today to celebrate that joy that is Christmas and those other holidays that nobody really pays attention to. Wow. Way to disrespect Hanukkah. And Kwanzaa. And what better way to celebrate this time of giving and togetherness than to revel in purchasing and receiving of commercial products? Now, time for our secret Santa gift giving. You'll all follow me to the Christmas tree. Uh, I hope you all obey the $300 minimum. Um, well... Did you not get a $300 gift? I'm sorry. I can't afford it on a photographer's salary. Righty. The secret Santa gift exchange is sacred. Going below the $300 limit violates the sacredness of it. You've just gone and violated Santa. Are you happy? How about we just move on? Let's see what I got. It's a store-bought Spider-Man costume. Your costume. Not mine. Kinda reminds me of the costume I used to wear before my universe's Nick Fury gave me this one. Yeah, I've seen those before. There's no way that's over $300. Nope. That was my gift. And I can tell you, it was only $20. Oh. Did no one follow the $300 minimum? Not all of us can afford to buy fancy gifts, Tony. Hey, too, Rhodey? Alright, my turn. Oh, wow. It's a uh, book on anger management. I'm looking out for you, buddy. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Oh, for gun. Who got the I Heart Spider Man shirt? Yours truly. Oh, dear God. Alright, my turn. Oh. Wow. I figured you could use an upgrade. Gee, thanks. Let's see what I got. Oh boy, please don't tell me this is what I think it is. Hey man, all that shrinking can be good for you. It's gotta have some side effects. I'm 
just making sure all the important stuff is at the top of its game. Now it is my turn to unwrap this gift. It appears to be a box of miniature rivets. It's a box of nails. I figured they go well with your hammer. I don't follow. Man, I haven't been to a Christmas party for almost seven years. This is so exciting. This is a sword. To go with your shield. I wonder what I got. A gun? Yeah. I figure that everyone should have at least one. I got six more like that at home. Is this even legal in the state of New York? I believe it is now my turn to open a colorful box. What is this? It's a book of idioms. I figured it could help you out. What? You dare question my intelligence? Drax! Chill out, man. Let's see what I got. Wow. Bug spray. Who did this? That was me. I just did it for the satisfaction. Come on, Wolby. I expected better of you. Well, it could be worse. You could be a 20-year-old college student who makes Lego films in his parents' basement. Wow. You really know how to hurt a guy. And who's terrible at voice acting. Why do I even put up with you? Because deep down, you know you love me. Don't. Ask. Now, who's that? Many presents later. Well, that looks like all the gifts. Alright, time to start partying again. Yeah, time to open the king. Rum eggnog all around. Hold on, I want to say something first. Look, getting cool presents is nice and all. $300 present. Yes, and it is nice. But we've gotten so focused on material goods and how much we want them, that we've forgotten the whole point of this time of year. This is the time where we all have two weeks off from whatever we do. Time that we can spend with our friends and family. But instead, we just care about the gifts and nothing else. That's all we think about when we think of Christmas. Not the idea of giving and being with family, but just getting stuff. It's gotten so bad that no one even remembers any of the other holidays. Like Hanukkah, where we can think about how grateful we are for what we have, that goodness always prevails, and that we can still believe in miracles. Or a Kwanzaa, where us in the African-American community can come together to understand and celebrate our shared culture and its centuries-old African roots, where we can all cherish how these customs from a continent 3,000 miles away have shaped us and our culture, and brought us to where we are today. It's especially important in times like this, where with all that's been going on in our country and around the world, we're more divided than ever and we need to realize that we are more alike than we think, and that we all share our history together. But all that meaning has been lost, thanks to big businesses hijacking these important holidays for the purpose of selling stuff and making money. So I say that we need to change that. I say that this year, and every year going forward, we stop to think about just what these holidays mean, and why we celebrate them in the first place. That was a really good speech, you guys. But I still want presents. Yeah, what you said and all, that's fine and nice. But in the end, all that matters about Christmas is the stuff we get. I guess there's no way to get past the commercialization of Christmas. Or the lack of representation for Kwanzaa. You know what'll lift your spirits, Webheads? Some rum eggnog. Eh, I don't know. I'll take some. No, 